Hi, I'm Jim Gordon, and you're watching Market One Minute. Joining us today is Fahar Merchant, President and CEO of Medicina Therapeutics Corp. Fahar, can you tell us about your lead drug, MDNA55? MDNA55 is our lead compound that has just finished enrollment in a phase two clinical trial in patients with recurrent glioblastoma. Recurrent glioblastoma is by far the most aggressive, uniformly fatal kind of brain cancer. As an example, last year, as you recall, glioblastoma claimed the lives of Gord Downey and Senator John McCain. This is a notoriously difficult cancer to treat. And over the past four decades, there has been nothing to help these patients. We believe that the, with the data that we've been generating with MDNA55, we have a drug that could make a big difference in these patients. And what is different about MDNA55? MDNA55 is very unique. It's quite disruptive in the sense that it is designed to target and treat cancer in three different ways. First and foremost, MDNA55 is designed to target the tumors that express a biomarker known as the interleukin-4 receptor. And that biomarker is found in patients with glioblastoma and other very aggressive forms of brain cancer. Secondly, the drug is delivered one time directly in the tumor using minimally invasive techniques. This way we can get the drug to the tumor and not elsewhere in the body. The third thing is that glioblastoma has a protective shield around it. This brain cancer is therefore hidden from our own immune system. And MDNA55 is unique in that it is the only drug that not only targets the tumor, but also targets the shield at the same time. We've seen some very encouraging data in patients that received a single low dose of MDNA55 in patients with recurrent glioblastoma. Typically, you'd expect patients with recurrent glioblastoma have survival outcomes of between five and eight months. With one treatment at the low dose with MDNA55, in patients that have this particular biomarker, we find that we've seen survival almost double in these patients. So we are seeing pretty encouraging data with a small amount of drug, the size of a sesame seed being able to destroy a tumor the size of a golf ball. So I'm really excited about the results so far and we expect to report more data before the end of the year. And this we believe will be a critical value inflection milestone for the company. And Fahar, what else is Medicina working on? Medicina has also got a second program a drug called MDNA19. This particular drug is designed so that it is able to stimulate the immune system, particularly those immune cells that are designed to attack cancer. It is powerful. And what we found is that when we combine this drug with checkpoint inhibitors, drugs like Obdivo, Yervoy, Keytruda, already in the marketplace with sales of multi-billion dollars every year, we are able to see some very dramatic effects in animal studies. For example, when we combine MDNA19 with a checkpoint inhibitor, we are able to see complete cures of these animals. But I think most importantly, what is really exciting is that when we re-challenge these mice with more tumor cells without any treatment, these tumors simply don't come back. And this is really exciting because what we are doing essentially is that we are generating a memory response, very much like a cancer vaccine kind of effect, so that the tumor, once it is cured, it simply cannot come back, which is a huge breakthrough. We expect to have this drug ready for clinical trials by the end of the year. And last question, what should investors be looking for in the next year? Over the next year, Medicine has got some very critical value inflection milestones coming up. First and foremost, before the end of this year, we'll have results from all the patients in the recurrent glioblastoma trial. And on the back of those data, we are expecting to then have a meeting with the FDA to guide us to the path for commercialization of this drug. 
We are hoping that there might be ways for this drug to get accelerated or expedited approval and perhaps potentially get breakthrough therapy designation. The other thing we plan to do with MDNF55 is that we could potentially pursue other indications. Newly diagnosed glioblastoma is one of them. The other one is pediatric patients with the uniformly fatal type of brain cancer known as pontine gliomas. There's a lot of excitement in that space and we believe MDNA 55 could help those patients. And then finally, with our preclinical asset, MDNA 19, that should have some key data before the end of the year to guide us into what we call IND enabling studies in preparation for a phase one, two clinical trial next year. Fahar, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>